Okay, putting it all together. So we're gonna do these first four together and we'll do these last four in class. Okay, rewrite as a single logarithm, simplify at if possible. So we are taking all of these properties we just learned, product, quotient, power, and we are making one single logarithm. Okay, so let's do it. Two times log of six minus log of nine. Oh, I know that if I have a number out in front of the logarithm, I can change that to the exponent. So this now becomes log six squared minus log nine. Well, log six squared is log 36 minus log nine. Now these are both base 10, I know that because there is no base. Now I know if I'm subtracting, I can push them together and make a quotient. So this really becomes log base 36 divided by nine, which 36 divided by nine is four. So log of four. So that whole thing became this, okay? Number 24 times log base four of A plus two times log base four of B. Remember, these numbers, if they're out front, I can just change them to exponents, okay? So this is now log base 4 of a to the fourth power plus log base 4 of b to the second power. I'm adding these two together. They have the same base, so I can make it one single log that has a uh, product. So this is log base 4 of a to the fourth times b squared. I'll put that in parentheses, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Seven times log base four of u minus three times log base four of b squared. So this comes over here, this comes over here. Log base four of u to the seventh minus log base four of v. This now becomes three times two, so to the sixth power. And then this is a subtraction, so I know I can make it a quotient. So this is really log base four of u to the seventh over v to the sixth. Okay. One more, this one looks a little complicated, so let's just break it up. Log base two of 15 plus log base two of four minus log base two of six. So let's deal with these two first. This is a sum, so I can make this a product. Log base two, 15 times four is 60, minus log base two of six. Now I know I can change this to a quotient. Log base two of 60 over six, which is really log base two of 10. All right. That's how you condense logs using those properties. In the next video, we'll learn how to expand them. Like I said, try these four on your own. Come to class with questions.